So if you've been around here at all or watched any of my videos, you would know that I mostly talk about commentary channels, specifically modern day commentary channels. I've never made a video on an older commentary channel before because most of them either quit or changed up their content. But one that hasn't changed up their content is Luna. Luna started making commentary videos a long time ago and he still does to this day, which is really impressive. Off the top of my head, I can't think of any other commentary channels that have lasted as long as Luna making the same type of content. But what type of content does Luna make? Luna makes storytime videos. Luna made storytime videos in 2014 and he still makes them to this day, and uploads a new one almost daily. He built up a library of like 1100 storytime videos. How did he do this? Well, it's simple. His life is insane. You see, Luna's been chased by the police. Luna's gotten his house broken into. Luna has porn stars that are trying to get his channel deleted. Oddly enough, he also has teachers and TikTok girls trying to delete his channel. No, Luna's life isn't actually insane. It's common sense that Luna's stories are fabricated. Luna is 22 years old. Looking at his stories, some of the stories that are told talk about the events that occur over a span of a couple hours, but some talk about events that happen over a span of multiple days. If we were to round up each story, it would be equal to about one day, which is the time frame that most of his stories allegedly occur in anyways. If we were to divide 1100 by 365, we would get three. So that means some extreme event would have to happen to him every single day for almost three years of his life at age 22 for his stories to be real, which is already extremely unlikely. But what makes the legitimacy of his story times even worse is the fact that whenever one of his stories pops up, coincidentally, something related to that or to what was told in the story happens that makes it worthy of a part two. A prime example example of this is the TikTok girl. Luna uploads a video on a girl that he claims he dated. The video ends up getting 1 million views. Apparently the TikTok girl saw the video Luna made on her and had a multiple new encounters with Luna. And this isn't just a one-time thing. Luna had many videos that do well where he has made follow-ups to, but whenever he makes a video that doesn't do as well, coincidentally, that was a one-time experience. Now there are a couple exceptions like the e-girl series, but most of the time the videos that have follow-ups are the videos that do well on his channel. Now I'm explaining this to you not because I think you're an idiot, but because there are large amounts of people that think his story times are real. But you may be thinking, okay, he probably fakes his videos, but there's nothing really wrong with that. And I actually agree. I find Luna to be one of the best commentary channels to ever create content. And I'm not saying he is the best, I just think he's up there. Whenever I play games without a friend, I just play a Luna video in the background because, in all honesty, fake or not, his videos are entertaining as fuck. In conclusion, there's no real denying that Luna fakes his videos. While it's impossible to provide any solid evidence that they are fake, the probability of his videos being real is almost zero, but I still respect the guy. He makes entertaining content at the end of the day. What other options do I have for storytime channels? Scrubby? Tana Mojo? I choose Luna over Scrubby in a heartbeat. Alright, so my recording cut off, but essentially what I was saying is that I want to make this video giving my opinions on Luna because Luna's a one-of-a-kind YouTuber. You never really see many other commentary channels that are like him, but anyways, I'm gonna be going now, so uh, I hope you enjoyed, and peace.